morning, uh, we're going to work on a brand new lesson, something we haven't covered before. Um, so what I'd like you to do, I have three sentences up on the board. I'd like you to, um, I'm going to read them, and I'd like you to picture in your brain what creates the best picture, what is the most descriptive sentence. Okay. Miss Dinelli, could you read the first one for The boy ran. Thank you. Mr. Hunter, can you read the second one for The boy ran fast. Thank you. And Miss Janelle, would you read the third one for The boy ran as fast as a cheetah. Okay, so I want you to picture those three in your brain. Okay, on my count of three, you're going to hold up um, your finger for what sentence is the most descriptive, what paints the best one in your brain. So I'm going to pick it up for a second. I'll give you some time. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of threes up there. So obviously, yes, this is going to paint the best picture in your brain. It's the most descriptive. So today, we're going to learn about a new figurative language device called simile. Okay, can you say the word simile? Simile! And similes are great because they're going to improve your reading and your writing. So, of course, the very first thing we want to do is cover our objectives so we know what our goals for learning are. Okay, so let's get those in our brain and I will have Mr. Wan, can you read the first one first, please? Define simile. Define simile, thank you. Mr. Alex, could you read the second one for us? Identify simile. Thank you. And Mr. Cody, would you read the third one for us? Compose simile. Yes, and since you all know from music class, composing this means making things or putting them together. So we'll go back to make sure we've made our objectives each time. Okay. So the first thing, of course, that we have to do, we have to realize what the heck is a simile, right? If we don't know what it is, we'll have trouble identifying it and composing it. Okay. So let's um, read our definition. Uh, Miss Macy, would you mind reading our definition for us? A simile is a comparison of two scenes. Seemingly. Seemingly unlike objects that uses like or as. Thank you so much. And remember, um, when you're comparing two things, so hold up your, your two things when you're comparing. Um, are you saying how they are, are alike or how they're different? How they're alike. Alike, right? And remember, the key thing we want to remember here is that like or as are our two uh, things we want to keep in the back of our brain. It'll tell us a simile. So take your like and it, grab them, put them in your brain. You'll need them later, don't forget. Okay, so let's go over some examples here. Okay, we want to think about the two things that we're going to compare and those key words you're supposed to keep in the back of your brain, which were what? Like and as. Right, so I'm going to read the first one since it's about yours truly. Mr. Kewen ran like the wind. So here we are comparing Mr. Kewen to the wind. And what were those two words in the back of your brain? Like and yes. like. Mr. Matthews, since the second one is about you, would you mind reading? Carter is as wise as an owl. Thank you. Let's think about the two things we're comparing there. We have Carter and... Owl. And those two words were what? Like and as. And Mr. Juan, since the third one is about you, would you like to read that one for us? One is as tall as a giraffe. Uh -huh, there we go. And our two objects we're comparing are one and yeah. giraffe. And those two words are? Like and to do a little practice here. This is where you're going to use your board. Okay. So our directions are we're going to write down the two objects that are being compared in the sentence. Okay. And you're also going to write down the like or as in the middle that connects them. Okay. When you're finished, you're going to compare with a partner next to you. So Hunter, if you want to um, stand up and go sit across from Alex right now. And you're going to be a three. Okay. So the three of you will show each other. Um, and I'll show you how it works. Alright, so our example, Superman flies as fast as a speeding bullet. So on your board, you're going to write the two things being compared, which here are Superman and bullet. You can even put speeding bullet if you'd like. And in the middle, the word that connects them are those two magic words. We have like or as or as, so you're going to put your as in the middle. You can even drop your arrows if you want. So that's how the first one will work, okay? So if you have the, oh, you're getting that one down, that's okay. So if you could please give me an erase, a cut, and a cut. I'll give you 
want to work on right here. So you should have room to do all three of these on your board. You should have room to do all three. Uh, would you read the first one for us, uh, Miss Lena? Could you read the third one for us? Jeff, wait, Jeff was as busy as a bee working on his science project. Very good. So I'll go back and show you one more time how I'd like to do it here. The two things being connected on the outside and the connecting word in the middle, you can go ahead and work all three. Make sure you compare with your partner or your partners when you're finished. Okay. We'll go over them. When you finish, check around with your partner, see if you agree, you can talk to each other. Discuss, see what we might have some differences there. Two objects being compared and the connecting word, uh, like I had. Mr. Carter, can you help us with the first one? Yeah, very good. Mm -hmm. And what's your connecting word? White. Uh, thumbs up. Do you agree? Yeah, same thing. Nice job. Um, and Nelly, how about the middle one there? Um, I got little girl buttons <coughs> and the connecting word was S. Was what? S. Okay, thumbs up or thumbs down if you agree or disagree. Very nice. And how about Mr. Cody? Can you help us with the third one, please? Jeff was. Wait, I got Jeff and B and Z. Uh huh. Was and the connecting word was as. Very good. Thumbs up or thumbs down if you agree. This week. Nice job. If you could give me an erase. Okay. And done. Done. Very nice. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Now this is something that tricks students up, so I wanted to go over it very quickly because the word like can get tricky. You can use like in a lot of different ways. So if you take a look at these ones here. Joey doesn't like broccoli. Okay, so there's like, there's our connecting word, but are we comparing Joey to broccoli? No. Oh, so you have to be very careful when you're doing those, right? How about that second one? Um, it was like running a mile in quicksand. Mm, uh, there's, let's see, like, but we're comparing what? Running to quicksand? No. Uh, oh, oh, tricky. So you have to be careful with that one then. Okay. So we'll move on. This is just going to be a quick thumbs up, thumbs down. Okay. Because if going back to our um, objectives, we were able to define simile. Okay. Now we're going to see if we can identify some similes here. Okay. So this will just be a really quick thumbs up if you think it's a simile. Thumbs down if you think no, that's not a simile. Let's see what we have. Uh, she was as angry as a raging bull. Thumbs up if you think that's a simile. Thumbs down. Not. You're right. There's she, there's bull, and you have your as in there. Get, get you. You know, I always, like, I always like to try to get you. Though. How about Frank doesn't like hot dogs that much? Are we comparing anything there? Too good, too good. How about Lauren stomped around her room like a gorilla? I can picture some of you doing that. <laughs> uh, thumbs up if you think it is, and thumbs down. Yeah, I see a lot of, ooh, I see a thumbs up on the board there, too. <laughs> and how about the pencil was as sharp as a nail? Are we thumbs up or thumbs down for simile? Think about it. Is there two things being compared there? Mm, let me see. Oh, we have a sideways. What do you think there, Ms. Navarro? You want to justify your answer? You have a sideways. 
Uh, uh, no. Okay, so why not? Tell us why. Let's see, do we have two objects? Yeah. We have pencil and what else? Nail. And do we have like or as? Yes. So that one was, right? Because it compares two things. That's okay. I do that all the time. I get them wrong sometimes, but that's why we're practicing. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be um, the portion here where we get to practice independently. Okay? So here's our directions here. We're going to find a partner. Okay, and you know our our uh, signal to move around the room. You're gonna write two similes about them on your board, okay? But here's the catch: one has to use like, and one has to use as. So one has to use what? Like. And the other one has to use as. Okay, so I'll give you a chance to move. My only um, big request here is that we are respectful, right? We never want to put each other down. We always want to write positive things about each other, okay? So when you hear the signal, you may move around. I will give us a few minutes to work on those, and then we'll come back together. Ready? Sure, make sure you have your person and you're comparing them to another object. Make sure you have your connecting word in there too. Uh -huh. yeah. Perfect. Awesome, take it out. Another minute here. Share a couple. Cool. Thank you, Mr. Matthews. Good. I see a lot of thumbs going up. Very cool. Share a few very quickly here. So I'm going to go to the cards. I probably won't be able to get to everyone, but I'll pull a couple here. Share your favorite one, please, that you're up. Alex, can you share one with me? What is as smart as a dolphin? Beautiful. And how about Autumn? Kitty is as pretty as a dolphin. Very nice. And how about Hunter? Carter is as cool as an ice cream. Very nice. Okay, so I want can I have your thumbs, please? I'll give you an opportunity to share some more. But I want to take us back for one last quick thing here. And what we're going to talk about here is, you did an awesome job. You identified similes, you composed similes, right? And you were able to define similes, OK? So we have, I have one last simile for you. If we could read this together, please, on the count of three. One, two, three. Give yourselves a hand. Nice job. Yeah. 